Okay guys, so I've got this old uh, CRT monitor that they threw away at work uh, yesterday. So um, it's a Mitsubishi Diamond Plus 93 SB Super Bright Dimatron. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, that's the flyback inside there. It's pretty filthy, as you'd expect from like an engineering sort of uh, office. It's got a load of um, ferrite beads and bits and pieces around. That looks like one of yours, John. <laughs> and... Uh, what I wanted to try and do is see if we can get an output from the end of the flyback in there to the, the grounding of the case. It's got quite a lot of uh, steel around the place, which is all left down, as you can see. So we'll, uh, <coughs> we'll put the lights and see if we can get it to get anything out of it, you know. So we'll uh, plug it in, switch it on. Right, so that's firing up. I'll grab my pliers. See what we get. Just reset that a second, hold on. Wait for the relays to click. There you go. Try it back on. Okay. Come on. Reset that again. Alright, try that on. Come on. Ooh. Sounds like it's nearly going to go, but then it. Oh, there you go. Ooh, pretty big arcs out of that. It's quite long, that's like, um, you're looking at 20 mil there. A bit of Corona. It's definitely got a capacitor on the end of that. <laughs> Ooh, is that it? Come on, yeah, cool. Let's try it to the tube. No, that's not quite as exciting. Come on. No, you want to. That reset itself. Ooh. You can kind of hear the. Uh, there you go. Every now and again, you hear it come in with the. Uh, Plasma sort of sound. Ooh. Wonder if anything's getting hot in there. I get a uh, dust fire just now, <laughs> or a dust explosion. <laughs> oh, you get some pretty good ones. That's got to be like getting on for an inch, you know. Some of these. Seems to be working anyway. Angry that. Come yeah, on. You see the corona build up, build up on that just before it fires. Well, that's pretty cool. That's a good flyback in there, as you can see. But uh, we'll uh, turn that off. Unplug safety first. Turn the lights back on. Right, just to uh, we'll short that tube out in there, there you go, that's gone. There's only a little little spark on that, there you go, it's down to ground on the other side. So yeah, that's pretty cool, it seems to be a pretty good output. That'll probably make a pretty good ZVS flyback in there, depending on how much distance I've got between the actual flyback core and the, and the uh, outer casing there. But uh, that should be pretty cool, I'll... Uh, just end the video guys and I'll spend some time trying to get this all apart and uh, get the fire back out and whatever else. I want that heat sink and a couple of the ferrite beads. 
and then the rest of Rego for a scrap. <laughs> so, hope you enjoy, guys, and uh, I'll speak to you again. Cheers.